wakes up early to watch the games at the park. The field is a Scrabble board. 60 to 85 year old athletes handling alphabet tiles like Harlem Globetrotters. This was not like the chess games you see a few tables over. The breathless pausing between the knocks and knights and spawns, the clicking and ticking of clocks between silent strategy, no. This was a cipher of the elderly. 11 point grand boss turned 15 point grand masters. These were verse veterans of verbs, weathered warrior wordsmiths attaching scores to skilled combinations of random letters. His older brother Andrew took him to his first game on his birthday, he gave him a dictionary. On the front flap he wrote, this is your first weapon, choose your words carefully, love always, and it was the perfect size for Mikey's back pocket. Mikey swore in it like the truth, became the park bench's law enforcement, catching phony words and taking away turns like a scrabble sheriff. <laughs> he found his language, one letter tile at a time, discovering words will tell you what they are if you L-I-S-T-E-N listen six points. But to listen requires you to be S-I-L-E-N-T silent six points. Just rearrange the letters. Your ears with the same letters can become the inlets to words if you enlist them six points. Two days later, Mikey found a letter from Andrew to a friend. It said words like John, eight points. Like, seven points. Awkward, 13 points. Gay, seven points. Do you like me back, 31 points. Mikey never said a word. Four days later, Andrew was found hung by his own belt in his bedroom. Belt, six points. Suicide, 10 points. When the ambulance removed Andrew from his room, Mikey found another letter. It wasn't in Andrew's writing. It said words like Andrew, 10 points. Fuck, seven points. Faggot, nine points. Burn, seven points. Hell, eight points. I'm going to tell everyone, 33 points. Mikey never said a word. At Andrew's gravesite, Mikey played Scrabble. He played words like sorry, eight points. Brother, 12 points. Mikey wrote his brother a letter to tell him he was sorry. He was silent. Andrew, I'm sorry that I never said I love you. I'm sorry that his word score was higher, but if you listened to your heart, it would have told you he was a hater. Just rearrange the letters. Did you know that there are no perfect anagrams to suicide? All I could make was dies. You will always be my perfect anagram. My Andrew, my wander, you warned me. Sticks and stones may break our bones, but words, words will never hurt you now. They've lied to us all along, Andrew. Words were our first weapon, and they can kill. I'm sorry, I never said thank you. Love always, Mikey. Cool, so, um.